Hello everyone. This video is for the new players, and also for the players who still don't know how the damage works in this game. I will talk about the stats and skills, and how they impact the damage output. Without further ado, let's get started. Each stat is divided into two categories, base and total. Base stat is the starting stat, and total stat is the result after applying the multipliers and adding the raw stats. Some skills specifically use base stats instead of total stats. Main sources of base stats are the passives and the weapons. Some armors and accessories also give base stats. In the example shown, I have 18,000 total attack, but my base attack is around 14,000. I will be using these same stats throughout the video. Moving on to the skills. There are many skills in the game, but we can bring only six skills in the battle. So we must understand how they work to be able to choose which ones are better. First thing to understand about the skills is the skill multiplier. This is what determines how much damage will be done. 100 skill multiplier means 100% of the total attack will be used. This means that if we have 10,000 attack, then the damage will be exactly 10,000. Another thing to understand is the cooldown. This is the time required for the skill to be replaced after being used. There are skills which can change the cooldown time of the skills. Most DPS skills have low cooldown times, but there are some with high cooldown like the example shown. Next thing to understand is cast time. Cast time is basically how much time a skill will take when used. Some skills might have a high multiplier, but high cast time as well. Low cast time is usually preferred. Last thing to understand about the skills is the setup time. When new skills appear on the deck, they take some time to be ready. That required time is the setup time. Most skills don't have high setup time. Ideally, we want the skills with a decent multiplier low cast time, and low cooldown. Damage doesn't come from just one skill. We need to consider how much total damage will be done in a specific time frame. Now, let's see how attack and skills work in the battle. I used Heat Haze skill, which has a 100 skill multiplier. The damage will be same as my attack stat. Next thing to learn is the element attack. Fire, water, soil, and wind are the main elements in this game. There are also neutral, spirit, and divine elements, but element attack doesn't apply to these. We can see the element diagram on the right side. Most enemies are of one element type. We need to use their weakness element to make use of the element attack. One thing to note here is that Element attack is only applied when using a skill which has weakness element of the enemy. Meaning, for wind enemy, only fire attack can work, only if fire skills are used. Let's see how element attack is calculated. 5 element attack increase damage by 1%. Weapons usually have 200 of 1 element attack type which totals to 40% damage increase. There is also a 20% damage increase by default. Let's see how this works in the battle. Here's the breakdown of the damage calculations. 
This aligns with how much damage was done. Next thing to understand is that enemy also have defensive stats. One defense of an enemy decreases our damage by one. The enemies I have shown so far don't have any defense. The enemies shown on the right side image have different defenses. Some enemies may have more than 100,000 defense. Here's the breakdown of damage calculations, including the enemy's defense. Next thing to understand is the damage factor. Damage factor is the percent damage increase. If we have 10 damage factor, then damage will increase by 10%. Note that the damage factor is applied after including the enemy's defense, unlike the element attack, which is applied before considering the enemy's defense. Let's see how it works in the battle. I am using the same weapon as before and earrings, which give 10 damage factor. Here's the damage breakdown. My damage increased by 10%. Last thing which impacts the damage is the crit. Crit damage only applies when we do crit hit. To do crit hit, we need to keep an eye on the target mark over the enemy's head. Use the skill when target mark is near the bottom. Or we can use something like strike earrings, which makes crit hit guaranteed. Crit damage is also percent damage increase like damage factor. Crit damage is 20% by default. I have 5% crit damage, so my damage should increase by 25% if I do a crit hit. Here's the damage breakdown. This is the final damage formula. I have also shown some examples of the damage. Keep in mind that these are just made up numbers. Real scenarios will be quite different. So far we have learned how to increase the damage, but don't forget that there is also the damage limit. No matter how much high damage we can do, we can't get past this limit. I recommend getting good armors and accessories which increase the damage limit. And this concludes the damage basics. We learned about the stats and how they impact the damage. There are also some other advanced things which impact the damage output. For example, extra damage. We will talk about those some other time. If you found this content helpful, then like, subscribe, and share with your friends. See you in the next video.